Hi. In this video, I will show you to how, uh, how to create a custom workflow for your uh, new forms or existing form. Uh, let's look at our project. Uh, in this example, it took uh, a lot of time to create these uh, uh, these items. So I created uh, these items before uh, the video, and I will show you the items one by one. First of all, I want to uh, create a workflow for my uh, my form, my table. I choose uh, if the activity type for this example. And first of all, you need a base enum for your uh, workflow status. Uh, I create a new base enum for that. You can uh, use existing ones too. I create uh, if the workflow status and I add these elements to my uh, enum. Uh, and after that, I add this uh, enum uh, to my table as a field uh, like this workflow status and properties workflow status after that i need to add uh, some code to my uh, table these are can submit the workflow and update workflow status let's look at these uh, these codes First, can submit the workflow. If a uh, workflow status is not submitted, is true, else false. It's a standard code actually. Update workflow status is uh, updating my record uh, status to uh, whatever status you sent this uh, method. Uh, and maybe it's best to uh, use like this okay after uh, after this uh, we need to uh, we need to create actually a query for our table uh, let's look at our query This one is our query. I create a new query and I add my data source to this, data source to this query. And uh, also I select uh, dynamic fields to yes. So you need to create a query for this one. And after that, we need to create a workflow category. Now, uh, Add new item. Um, this one. I will not create uh, because I created before and this is my category. And uh, when you look at properties, you need to uh, enter a, a label, of course, and choose a model. This, this is important. I don't have a separate module for my project, so I choose account receivable, and it will uh, configure from this module. So you need to choose right module for your uh, uh, workflow. After uh, category, you need to create workflow type. Uh, let's look at workflow type. I'm adding a new uh, again. Workflow type. Let's uh, look at this one. I will not create again, but let's look at how it work. When I uh, clicked add, it will show me a wizard, and this wizard I need to uh, select my category and my query. And document item. Uh, document menu item is my uh, forms menu item actually. It's a little bit slow. This one. 
and next and finished and it will create uh, some uh, elements for us let's look at these elements uh, first of all it will create some class for us uh, this class and you need to you need to add some uh, codes to uh, event handler class especially let's open uh, event handler uh, when, when it was created firstly this these fields are uh, will be empty so you need to add this line of codes i will share this code uh, in comments uh, comments so you can copy from there and after that uh, you need to by the way you you need to uh, you need to set some properties your form design i forget that one let's look at our form design um, in design properties uh, there is a workflow of data source workflow of enabled and workflow type you need to select these uh, properties uh, after this one you need to create add uh, approval item from here uh, it's, uh, it's similar to workflow type you will also need to select your uh, workflow type and uh, items let's look at this one too this is my workflow type document this is, this is class actually if if you if you couldn't see uh, in this list, you need to build and uh, synchronize your project first, and also you need to create a, a field group your uh, field group in your uh, table. I created before. I will show this one too. Also, you need to select your uh, document menu item. And let's close this one. And let me show you the field group, sorry. This is my workflow with field group. After uh, creating approval, uh, also you need to uh, write some code. Uh, this is... Uh, approval event handler code it will create uh, these classes for you and you need to add uh, these codes to your approval uh, i added cancelled completed denied and uh, returned code uh, also i forget to mention you need to uh, add some code to submit manager let's open the submit manager and this is this is also pretty standard code. You can see these codes uh, a lot of uh, different uh, post or old version, uh, old version uh, articles, etc. It's a pretty standard code actually. Uh, after that, uh, actually, uh, you need to do uh, one thing uh, from your uh, workflow type you need to create a supported element uh, you, before you can drag, dro drag and drop your approval but it's not uh, working uh, in my environment so I create uh, a new workflow element reference and uh, in this workflow element reference I choose my approval uh, element and after that it's actually finished you created a new uh, custom workflow your, for your custom tables and now you need to uh, you need to build your project and synchronize your project uh, the, you should uh, you should check if there is a, a error or synchronization problem if it is uh, you cannot see uh, your uh, workflow in workflow uh, list and you cannot create a design for your workflow so be be careful about this 
and yeah, it's that's all. Uh, I know there are lots of uh, steps to follow, but I will write uh, a, a article about this, and I will share the link uh, with you in the comment section. I hope it's helping. Happy duxing.